Hi everybody, uh, I'm uh, Mark Pollard. I'm Professor of, of Music at the Faculty of Fine Arts and Music. I'm Head of Interactive Composition and uh, I suppose I'm definitely a composer and sound maker and photographer. I work in all these fields. My role is partly to work with my colleagues in Interactive Composition and across the faculty and university in running, coordinating and building the Interactive Composition program. If you get excited working in music, experimenting with sound, working with other media from different perspectives, different aesthetics, if you would like opportunities collaborating in different forms, it's all possible and everyone's invited. Interactive composition is not a style, it's not a form, it's a way of making and interacting through sound with something else. It's about concept realisation collaboration, working with other media, dance, theatre, installation artists, producers and films and commercial music, working with artistic directors, understanding how technology works. It's about collaborating with your colleagues across various styles. Even though IC isn't a performance course, all the IC students perform. Your sound making and your creativity is very individual. You want to nurture that individualness, but also give you the ability to create and problem solve in any context. And that's an important lifelong learning skill. You look at theory in context. So for interactive composition students, theory isn't about learning one style, it's about understanding that theory is applied to different contexts to create that style and that sound. So music becomes a subset of sound that applies to technology as well, which is core. So you look at acoustics, you look at recording, you look at how to use your digital analog workstation, you look at how to use old style synthesizers. There's a fairly well stocked store of equipment students can borrow. There are also several production studios that students can, can work in. Some of them have surround sound systems installed. Others use retro hardware. There's also a, a high-end recording studio that has several spaces attached to it. It's called the Brian Brown Studio. So there's lots of spaces that the IC, as we call them, students use on this campus and outside this campus as well. Partly through collaboration with other disciplines in dance, in theatre, in film, in production and in visual art and a range of other areas. And that's exciting because you often don't come across each other if you work in different circles, but once you start working together, you form bands and groups together. I just love seeing the outcomes at the end of each year, seeing where students have got to, looking at their live shows in Grand Street Theatre and looking at the major events that they put on and seeing where they go into the future. It's hard to describe exactly where IC students go because there is no one pathway. There are some students that are singer-songwriters, some work in electronic dance music, in theatre and dance, collaborating in those contexts, installation artists, producers, film composers. Some have gone on to become recording engineers, working for record labels. Each student is individual has particular things that they want to explore. Nonetheless, they all come out with the same ability to work across a range of media from a very individual perspective. Audition process for IC is a little unusual as well, as you can expect. There's no particular style that is required. It's a competitive process. You should put your hat in the ring and be part of that selection process. To be forced to put in an audition folio is really important. In any career, it's part of the tendering process, so it's good practice. You should put in your best work, but, but not any best work. It's the best work that lines up with audition criteria. Remember that the IC program is built on notions of concept. Now that concept links to realisation. We're looking at what your artistic, aesthetic and conceptual ideas are. Also look at your levels of craft and technique, whether they line up with what you're trying to do. So you will need to include something with other media. Not any other media, think about how sound, music and other media interact with each other to create an experience that's greater than the sum of the parts. You'll need to complete a creative task. It's a pitch. It's offering a creative solution to this question, what you would do if you had more time, how you would engage, how you would inspire, how you would create an amazingly profound experience for those visiting a location or whatever it might be. One of the consistent things that comes back from current and past students is the, the, the nature of the experience. Working with others, the collaborations that they do, the people that they meet along the way, the exposure to industry and other media context. But also, in some ways, the questions that they're left with, the questions about themselves and where they're going in their own artistic trajectory, 
which are questions that they wouldn't come across outside on their own. They're questions that force an understanding and a direction that's really important.